I've moved back onto the acoustic guitar and I want to show you how to change very, very small elements of the chord and create some interesting new sounds with that. First of all, if we take this original movable fifth chord which I showed you, this is using, uh, in, in this case, the A, the E, and then I showed you the D and the A, and then the E and the B. Now we can add another note to this chord to make it a little richer. And what happens is we add the octave note. For example, in the case of A, if I were to play A, E, and then double this note here with the fourth finger, I have the same chord but doubling this note. And this can move to the next set of strings here, D, A, double the note, same fingering, then move that up to E. And this gives us a slightly richer version of this fifth or power chord. So we've got, just to recap, A, D, E. And it's important to say we're only playing those three particular notes. Now once we have that and you're comfortable with that, I want to show you another way of using that same shape. If I go to the E position here, E, B, E, but I actually arch the fingers so that the open strings underneath are free, I get this chord here. And if I add the low E to that, I have a really nice chord. Very often used in, in pop and rock music. So this gives us uh, a, a different way of presenting this kind of, this kind of uh, chord, this kind of rhythm. Now, just to give you a couple of chords that would go with that, that are very, very easy to use, let's go back to our original E shape down in this position. We can either play it like this, or we can play this position, as I indicated when you put a bar and play it slightly higher up. For example, if I use this position, take that up to A, have my bar at the fifth fret, but I don't play the bar. Take the bar away and simply let the open strings ring. I get another really nice chord. And this goes very, very well with the first E chord I showed you. So you've got E, and you've got this A-type chord. Now this shape can actually move down three frets. And this gives you a very nice G-type chord. I'm calling them G and A-type chords because they're actually adding some ninths in and stuff that we haven't actually dealt with in any detail. But from your point of view, all you have to concentrate on is you're using existing shapes that you know and you're taking fingers away. To recap, I play a bar shape and I take the first finger away. I play a G shape and I take the first finger away. And to give you an idea of how that can be used in a musical context, I'll just play a little rhythm and play some rhythm with that. Here we go. Okay, that gives you an idea of how you can work with those open strings and develop some new chord sounds.